In this Mathematica Sessions video on the Tools of Mathematica programming, this is part two. We're going to look at nest and strings and how I can use strings uh, together with programming to do some of the things uh, I'm aiming for. Okay, so let's start with nest. So nest applies the function f to itself repeatedly n times. Uh, for example, nest f, comma x, comma 4. Okay, so f of f of f of x. Uh, so a 4 times to itself. All right, so in this one, uh, I wanted to do that with a simple continued fraction just to um, show you how that looks. Now, there are other arithmetic tools to do this, sequences and so on, or there's a built-in function, um, continued fraction also. Okay, so if we take this and run that, we have this simple continued fraction, but we can also substitute in a uh, value for x, and then we'll get a rational number. All right, so next let's have a look at strings and certain replacement rules. So when we have two slashes and a dot in Mathematica, that means to perform the replacement until the result doesn't change anymore. Okay, so for example, if we have log of ABCD, now this comes out of the help file, this part of it. The rest is what I'm adding to that. We've got two, sla two slashes and a dot, and then the replacement rule is to replace the product, the log of the product, with the sum of the logs. Okay, so what that would do in the first iteration is we would have log of A plus log of B, C, D, because it would take the first multiplicand being A, and then the second one being B, C, D. And uh, then, in this spot, on the second iteration, we would have log of b, c, d, and then that's a product as well. So that would be split into the sum of uh, log of b plus log of c times d, and so on. Um, but it doesn't change after we get four um, summons there. So, let's try this out. I'll copy and paste the rest of this down below so that we're just running the first bit. Okay, so you can see what we have is the sum of those logs, right? But this is just log rules, um, because this is not a built-in function here. That's a lowercase l. Okay, so what if I wanted that to, to be used in a real log rule? Um, well, then I would need to con convert that to a string and perform string replacement rules. So I'll take this and I'll put it up here. Okay, so this is convert an expression into a, a string, so I write to string s. Now s is put in memory up here as the output of this one. Okay, so uh, right, we have that. Next, what we want to do is change a certain letter within that string. Okay, but I'll just show you that when I press enter, um, the result of this s is just the output of the log rules, right? But when I press the button here, this is the actual string. So that's a string. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is replace the lowercase l with an uppercase l in that string. So we use string replace to do that. We replace the lowercase l with an uppercase l. We replace the space, because there's a little bit of space here, with um, no space. So we close that gap, and let's have a look at the result. Okay, so now we've got an uppercase L there. If I press the button now, the enter button that is, um, we get the sum of these uppercase logs, but it's still a string. So what we want to do is convert that to an expression now. So let's go ahead and do that. But to do that, I need to write to expression uh, V. Okay, so that's our next step. Convert this into an expression. Now it looks just the same when we press the button, but I, if I press enter afterwards, I get the sum of actual logs. Now you can see the A, B, C, D 
are uh, bright blue and these are uppercase L's. This is an actual expression, so it's a symbolic expression at this point. Okay, so what if I wanted to put actual numbers in there now? All right, um, so let's go ahead and do that. But what I need to do is write replacement rule. Uh, so I could write replace all with A, B, C, D going to these numbers that we see here. But instead, I've just got a single slash and a dot to do that. That's convenient. Uh, I put in the decimal numbers rather than the actual integer expressions because if I put the integer expressions, I would get um, log of 2 plus log of 3 and so on, unevaluated as numbers. Okay, so um, that's what we have here. And then this, just to test that, is 20 decimal places of the log of the product of those numbers, just to check that those are equal. So um, we see we get 4.7874, etc., and these seem to match. So mission accomplished. All right, so that's all I have for you for now. That's a bit of a short video. I hope to make somewhat longer ones on um, programming in the future. So stay tuned. Bye.